Hey, welcome to the Round 19 preview. As Carlton are set to take on the North Melbourne Footy Club for the second time in season 2024. It's a Sunday graveyard shift. That's what it is, 4.40. Marvel Stadium, it is the second time we're playing them. Obviously the first time being the Good Friday appeal match. Um, just reminds me how quickly this all goes by. The cycle of footy and its relativity to life. When it's not here, I need it. When it is here, it's too much. It's a lot. It's everything. Um, but we're in the, the, you know, we're closing in on the pointy end. Uh, and we do have to be mindful that the end is near. The end of the season is near. It's uh, We're a lot closer to it than what we are the beginning. Um, and we come up against the Kangaroos. It's just a just one of those matchups that I don't know. It's strange. I, 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 when I think about this game, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to North Melbourne, but I feel like we have to be winning this game, non-negotiable. Like go, like not even trying to make an argument why we should be winning this game. Like we have to win this game. Um, we should be expecting to win this game, and therein lies the challenge when you know when you know you should be. Um, because who says we should be? All that matters is what happens in those four quarters and anything can happen. Um, the reality is we are not playing at our best at the moment. We're not sharp. It's looking like we're relying on individuals a bit again and you know individual brilliance to get us by. We seem to be, I don't know, tinkering with things, testing things out. Players are coming back after long layoffs. We ha all of a sudden have selection headaches, which in theory is awesome. But I mean, you got to get them right, and you got to get the you got to put the pieces in the right places and, and choose the right pieces. Um, it, it, I sense a better balance is needed. What I mean by that is, you know, we have gone from a really heavy reliance on you know clearance and, and stoppage and then you know this season i think has been the turnaround in our scores from turnover it almost feels like we've gone too far in that direction now so there's a bit to play out i do believe that we are going to be okay i do believe we're a better team than what we're playing like at the moment i believe there are ebbs and flows in every season for every team every premier has their ebbs and flows uh, and i i think this is just one of those times. Uh, we have not lost three games in a row this season. We have lost two games in a row this season, Geelong and Collingwood. Um, so it's really just a bounce back game and, and really one where you just got to get like, just get the job done. Roll up your sleeves, get back to basics, get to what got you here. It might sound boring and cliche, but it's not, it's not rocket science what needs to happen this week. And that's the danger because the opposition is a team. I mean, you look at the North Melbourne website, they're... There's articles on there about their indicative draft order already. And I guess it just sort of shows you where both clubs are at. Those kangaroos will show up on Sunday with full intent to win. And I said this when we played them last time. I'll say it again now. They're the type of team, if you give them the opportunity to believe that they can beat you, they will try and beat you and they will beat you. So there's that. Um when it comes to the team and the balance, there's another aspect of where we're at now, which I've noticed, which is new, and that is availability. There are a lot of players available. So earlier in the season, we were forced to make changes. We were forced to experiment with things because of the injury list that we had. Now, a lot of those players are back and available and now it's a question of form and fit and style and the opposition that we're playing and what we're trying to shut down, balancing out with what we're trying to, um, you know, put on the table that we can do. Uh, and this is, I mean, this is where we want to be. This is where we're going to find out what the best version of us looks like. But when I look at the fact that Jesse Motlop still can't get into the side, Cunningham can't get into the side. He's been in the, in the twos for a few weeks. Um, we're still having right conversations. Is it two? Is it one? 
Maybe it's two this week because we're coming up against Tristan Sherry, but maybe it's one. Maybe it's two because we want to rest Tom until final. I don't even know. It, it, it goes, it goes, and it's very volatile, the right conversation. So I'm just going to park that for this week. I might just ask you again, what do you think about it this week? Um, George Hewitt playing in the twos. He's been in emergency for a few weeks, but he's in the twos. You know, Matt Kennedy playing as the sub. It's just... It's an adjustment period, and that's what I sense. So as we enter the 19th round of the 2024 season, yeah, I'd like to see a level of, uh, of calm and settle. Uh, I think we're just going through a reminder, a reminder what's at stake, a reminder how easily it can be taken away, a reminder in this league that if you're 5% off, it's not good enough and you get beaten. And... I don't think that's a bad thing. The Swans who are sitting on top, who have really positioned themselves in the context of the league at the top at this point, they were coming off two losses. They just beat the North Melbourne Footy Club convincingly. You know, we're coming off two losses in a row. I hope to be able to do the same. Um, talks about percentage and points and, and whatnot. The destiny is really in our hands. You know, we have got what would seem on the outside a favorable draw, but Again, you have that mentality too much, you get beaten. Uh, I just think this is as well set up as we've been ever to have a crack at winning a premiership. Um, so I'm mindful not to get too caught up in the future, come back to the present moment. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's not, it's, not too, it's not too hard to think about this week. Um, it's a really weird position because you win, you win well, the win's going to be discredited because the the narrative will be, oh, it doesn't matter because it's North Melbourne. You know, you lose and it's a complete disaster. It's, it's almost a, it's almost a lose-lose situation in, in some respects. Um, but that's the challenge. Can you, can you go out and perform when you're coming up against a side who's in the bottom two, bottom three, on a different level in their development um, and respect them enough and play like they are a top side? Because if we do that and we just apply ourselves defensively, then, you know, we're better. And I'm confident about that. And so that's the other weird part about where we're at. Like our defensive application around the ground, at stoppage, you know, where, where's that? Let's let's find that focus again. That, that's an important part of who we are, where we're not the Globetrotters, we're not superstars, you know, we're not ready to play champagne football. I don't think any team truly is. Uh, you've got to bring that defensive, relentless um you know, attitude that really got us into this position that really turned the ship around. So a good reminder and a good opportunity to just get back on track. When it does come to changes at the time of filming, not exactly sure where Zach Williams is at. He did come off the last game with some hamstring awareness or tightness. I would expect of all the names I saw in the VFL, I would expect Motlop and Hewitt to be at the top of the list for those that might come in. Cunningham, somewhere somewhere close by. But are you really making three or four changes to this team? I don't know. I feel like Jesse and, and George in particular simply have to come in. I think they are in the best version of this team. I think we get... I mean, obviously, Jesse would be a force change if, if Zach's unavailable. If Zach is available, it makes it even more difficult. So... I don't want to be a selector. I just want to sit back and watch the footy and hope for the best. That's what I'm going to do. But what do you think? What would you do this week with team selection? Uh, what is the balance needed to win this game this week? And yeah, just share some of your thoughts and sentiments around North Melbourne this week and, and what you're thinking of. We'll get ready for a big Sunday late afternoon twilight match at Marvel Stadium. Take it easy, guys. Go Blues. Go Blues.